national efforts to achieving a lasting settlement. In conclusion, Mr. President, I appreciate almost all members of the Council focused on the meeting of the Constitutional Committee, which is essential element of the political process. I wish all sides will take it seriously and will give up the obstructionist policies. Thank you. I thank the representative of Turkey for their statement. Uh, the, the representative of the uh, United States has uh, asked for the floor to make a further statement, and I give them the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I apologize for taking the floor, but I need to respond to uh, comments made by the representative of the Syrian regime. Um, just to push back on a number of these falsehoods, uh, the U.S. Is, has a presence, military presence in Syria for one reason and one reason only, and that's to fight ISIS. We've been very clear about this uh, for quite some time. That is the only reason we are there. Um, the charge that the U.S. is looting Syrian property and oil resources, uh, this is out of the Syrian playbook. Uh, it's absolute nonsense. The U.S. is not looting Syrian property or taking, seizing its oil resources. Um, let's not forget, uh, Syria has killed thousands upon thousands of its own people since the war began in 2013. Uh, it's used chemical weapons against its own people, as has been uh, stated by the OPCW many times. So th these are not just ridiculous charges. These are facts. Uh, they have tortured their own people. Uh, they have sent their people into internal displacement. They've become refugees in other countries. So. Um, the regime continues to car carry out a war against its own people. Uh, and uh, that is why Syrians don't want to return home. Uh, no amount of lies, no distortions, uh, no propaganda can change that reality. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I thank the representative of the United States for their statement. The representative of the Syrian Arab Republic has asked for the floor to make a further statement, and I give them the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I will not speak at length. Eight months of uh, genocide in Gaza and the U.S. Uh, position in the Security Council and the use of the veto by the U.S. five times to shield uh, Israel and to prevent an end to the massacres and the genocide and to prevent the delivery of aid and to prevent attempts of forced displacement of Palestinians. All this can very simply uncover the true face of the practices of the U.S. administration and its approach towards the Middle East region, which always is completely and blindly biased towards Israel, and uh, they have no red lines in the service of Israel and in uh, destabilizing uh, neighboring areas and regions. Mr. President, we have noted the repeated use of the veto by the U.S., uh, which undermines any credibility for those allegations of the representatives of the U.S. administration. And you all recall that after so many efforts in this council, Resolution 2728 was adopted, which calls for a ceasefire and a humanitarian pause in the occupied territory. What was the American response to the resolution? It was the immediate uh, um, statement and before going back to our offices that this is a non-binding resolution and that this resolution does not include any additional commitments on the parties. This is the U.S. position. This is the position of the U.S. administration. The U.S. administration takes uh, resolutions that need um, that are problematic, that serve their interests, they take them out of the history books. And when this council adopts a resolution to end the massacres and the genocide, they say that this is a non-binding resolution and they decide to continue to provide Israel with weapons and smart uh, uh, bombs 
as they claim, and these bombs are exactly as their fa uh, sanctions that are smart sanctions and targeted sanctions. All this is for the killing of civilians and entrenching the economic terrorism and towards destabilizing the region by the U.S. administration. All other allegations set forth by the representative of the U.S. administration are with no value. The Syrian Arab uh, Republic for their statement. The representative of the United States has asked for the floor to make a further statement. Well, this will be, after this, we are going to close the meeting. But uh, I, I give them the floor. And then after that, I will close the meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Again, once again, apologize for taking the floor, but I, it was just actually to pose a question. I believe this session is supposed to be about the situation in Syria, correct? Yes. That's all I want to know. Thank you. I thank the representative of the United States for the uh, statement. There are no more names inscribed on the list of speakers. I now invite council members to informal consultation to continue our discussion on the subject. The meeting is adjourned.